Non-all-weaver. What's up? This is John with JTEC, class of 22, automotive. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall timing belt and bounce belt on this 2000 Honda motor. It is 2.3. comes in a Honda Accord. You see it right here, nice and fabulous on a JTEC stand. All right, all right. All right, what I've done for you some prior is I've already broken this loose, the crank nut or bolt in this particular case. I've already broken it loose so that I can go ahead and finger it off for y'all. All right, that's the first thing you're probably gonna wanna do since you already got the tension on all these belts holding it still. Right, next thing you would like to do is go ahead and work on getting this first belt off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and loosen this guy up. And then we're going to loosen this one up too. Oh, okay. So that way we can go ahead and get the tension off of it. And move it up like that. So now we can go ahead and slide this bad boy off. Bam. And then we're going to go ahead and slide off our bottom crank gear also. Position them together and set them off to the side. All right, now we have our first pulley off. And next we're going to work on our actual timing belt, which connects our cam, crank, and water pump. Okay. Now we're going to disable the other half of this tensioner, which is this 10 millimeter bolt here. By put using our finger, we're just going to go ahead and leave tension. Slide this bad boy right up. Bomb. Alright, and that's how you pull it off while still keeping your tension in place. A lot of times, whenever you do go ahead and do these uh, timing belts, you are most likely going to be changing out the water pump and the tension of just to be safe since you're already here and doing it anyway. But this is just a how to, so I'm just you know pulling off and putting back on for you, okay? All right, now before you go to put this back on, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure all your timing marks here on your crank, there's going to be a little dimple and a dot right here to line up for you so you know your crank is in the proper dot, top dead center position. And then up here on your cam, you'll notice it says the word up. So you want to make sure it is actually up. And on the side here, you're going to have two marks here and here that are going to be level with your deck. So that way you know that this is in the proper position. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and take your belt and line it up in here, down here with your crank. I'll make sure it fits in all of its grooves nice and evenly. Just like that. And then you're going to want to use either your hand, a pair of soft clamps, whichever, to go ahead and keep it in place. And you're going to pull the tension up this way. You know, go ahead and get it started up line that way. Around your can. And then you already have the tension, your tensioner loosened from whenever you took it off. From this point, you can go ahead and remove tension off the crank if you left it tight. Go ahead and feed it around this way. Up it around over here. Sometimes you may have to use it a little, little extra, you know, oomph. So that way uh, the tensioner gives you room to actually slide it on. In this particular scenario, our spring's in good shape, so it has actually given me a little bit of tension. As you can see here, I don't know if you can tell in the video, as I move it, yep, you can see it over here. How the bug's looser and tighter. Alright, we got nice, nice action going on here. We got our tension up. So what we're going to go ahead and do, since this belt rides on two separate tension spots, we can go ahead and tighten up this initial um, tension. Make sure one, you're going the right way. 
Oh, and then two go ahead and tighten up your tension right where you want to be at. In this particular scenario, we kind of would like our tines to be a little bit on the, on the tensor side so we have no no opportunity of jumping teeth or grinding them all the way off. All right. Next, what we all do is go with our balance belt. Here. And then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is make sure your tensioner is in position but not, but not under tension. Go ahead and take your gear and position it like so. But not all the way, just enough to where you can go ahead and get your initial marks put in or your initial grooves started. And then go ahead and come around your balance set. Over here, since both of these have a lip, so they're going to be an easier one to go ahead and put on first. So go ahead and make sure you got your lips in. On both. And grab. Both. Go ahead and slide it around this catcher, which as you can see is not doing much of nothing. Just move right up and down. Use one finger right here. To go ahead and start to remove all the tension. And then Wrap it right around like so. And then you let go of your tension. And slide the red belt the rest of the way on. Now you can go ahead, stand up, move over. And then adjust your tension however you would like it. Now go ahead and knock down your bar. <laughs> and go ahead and use your hand, push down, and tighten up your tension. So that way you have nice, nice tension on all your belts. And then last but not least, you must put on your crank bolt or else, well, this could just slide right off. And then, well, you've done all this for nothing, and chances are you're eventually going to come out of time. Because this is what also holds this belt from sliding off as well. All right, all right. This has been John with JTech. Hope you learned a little something about a uh, timing belt. See you next time.